Um, this is my first YouTube video. This is a tutorial on Death the Kid's brooch or necktie that he wears. Um, it's actually a skull. See? Yeah, that's one I made three days ago. But for this tutorial, or making of this, you'll need air dry polymer clay. <laughs> Can't talk. Um, hand lotion. Yeah, not water base. <laughs> Or uh, baby oil. Uh, this is to prevent it from drying out on you too quick, and also um, it helps it stop from sticking to your hands. But when we use it, don't use a lot, or it will turn into a giant goopy mess, and it's not fun to work with. Okay, for this, um, you'll need to cut this in half. So. Hold on. And you take the half that you decide on, and you roll it. You roll it sideways like a top, um, in order to create um, a good shape. As you roll it, press down firmly, but don't smash it, or it will defeat the purpose of rolling it. Uh, once you get it to about the size you want it, it will be about something like this. You'll start wanting to work it downward to make like a skull-like shape. But make sure that one side stays beveled or bubbled up so where you actually have the face of it. Um, after you get it to a shape like this, it's a weird looking circle, we're going to take the exacto knife and very carefully cut out triangles. And from there, cut a piece like this. And you'll do that again. I start on the left side and cut the triangle. And then I start on the other side of the middle one. And work outwards. And you'll get something like this. I know they're not even, but I really can't make things even. I'm really not good at it. But I try my best. And from there, you'll want to start to pull the teeth down and shape them. Don't worry if you don't cut the um, pieces long enough upwards. You can always go back and cut. And also when you cut, don't really do it on your hand like I'm doing unless you're very careful or you'll end up cutting yourself. Um, and you keep on working it. You might want to press it down a little to well, not have it as bubbly, but you still want it bub bubbled-ish, but it will help with creating the shape of the teeth. And also won't make it look like a balloon. <laughs> yeah. And from there you'll want to start pressing the top down slightly so it slopes and gives you a more of a rounded type shape. And you know the teeth. When you do this for the teeth, be very careful or you'll end up ripping them off. You get them about the same length. Like this. And from there, um, take the back of your x knife or anything that has a circular-ish shape. I use the exacto knife since it's about the size I need to make the eyes and the nose. And you press in to the clay very lightly because you just want slight divots from where it makes the actual thing. Uh, and if you go, try to have it centered because if you go too far off it'll make it look wonky. And also when you make these, judge it about the size of your costume, how much you want to stand out. For me I'm just going to make it average average size based on what the picture shows and also on my own preference and also because I'm really really tiny and I don't know why but from there you have to be very careful when you pick it up or you'll end up making it look rectangle-ish which is not good because you want it round from there you have something like this and after you're done with that part You'll want to let it sit for two days so it can um, air dry. 
don't worry, come back and sand it down as well. If it has any like bumps that you don't want or the teeth aren't sharp enough. And after about two days, two or three days, we have something like this. And from here, you will want to paint it all white and do like two or three coats of it and let it sit and dry before um, you paint the lower divots black. Um, if you notice why it's drying, that it's cracking, don't worry about it. Just get some clay, some wet clay, and just shove it into the holes or the crevices and fill them up with this. Something like putty. It's like puttying. <laughs> and let that dry, and you'll have something like this. Also, you might want to be very careful because these teeth break easily. I know that because right before I did the video, I kind of dropped this and killed this tooth by breaking it off. So I took some hot glue and glued it back on. Also with hot glue you had to be very careful. You could burn yourself very bad. And when you also hot glue it, you had to smooth it down so it's not as bad when you had to sand it. If you sand it. And after that, you paint it and then you um, seal it with class clear acrylic sealer. I have Mod Podge. It's pretty good. It does what it needs to. Yeah. So this is about it. Here's the tutorial on Death of the Kids necklace thing.